inside the ethics investigation into outgoing U.S. Attorney Rachel Rollins. Watchdogs uncovered evidence of loose talk about pending cases, lying under oath, and leaking private information to the press to help a political ally. And these allegations and others against Rollins prompted her to announce she's going to resign by the end of the week. Thanks for staying with us at 5.30. I'm Chris Tanaka. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Paula's on assignment. The report by an inspector general and the office of the special counsel raised troubling questions. Tonight, WBZ political analyst John Keller asks how and why Rollins would make such fundamental mistakes. Congratulations. Rollins's inauguration last year was a triumphant moment for a novice Paul whose surprise victory in the Suffolk County DA race showcased her intelligence and political savvy. But a resignation under fire leaves several unsolved mysteries about how and why those qualities deserted her. For instance, here's some vintage caustic Rollins from an interview last summer. I find it ironic that there are issues with traffic regarding the Long Island Bridge, but have you ever had the pleasure of going to Marina Bay in Quincy? It's gorgeous, and that's where the beautiful people go to spend time on their yachts and drink $17 beverages, which when I, you know, and my current government job I can't afford. One problem, Rollins was overseeing a civil rights probe of Quincy's resistance to bridge reconstruction at the time. U.S. attorneys are usually ultra cautious when they discuss a pending case. Why didn't Rollins ever make that stylistic pivot? Another mystery? In the last 27 years, two Massachusetts House speakers have been forced to resign due in part to lying under oath and illegally accepting free Celtics tickets. Rollins had to know those stories of premature downfall. How could she duplicate their politically fatal behavior? The district attorney, D.A. Hayden, had uh, secured a warrant. And the biggest question of all, why would Rollins, who has worked collaboratively with Hayden, risk her career by leaking non-public info on him to the press in a failed effort to boost Ricardo Arroyo, who was dumped by other endorsers after stories about past police probes of his behavior? Okay, so there are a lot of mysteries. Still, mm -hmm. we haven't heard from Rollins directly, but you've covered her career extensively. What do you think happened here? Lisa, I don't pretend to know her well personally, okay. but uh, this certainly wouldn't be the first time overconfidence proved to be a damaging flaw in a successful person. Rachel Rollins went from relative obscurity to the top federal law enforcement post in the region in a, really a short right. period of time. And if she got the idea that that made her untouchable, that's always a formula for disaster sooner or later. Right. No one is untouchable or above the law. Amen. All right, John, thanks. Chris?